Now let us solve another question from part C. So let I be an ideal of Z where Z is a ring of integers. The which of the then which of the following statements are true? So the first statement is I is principal ideal. Uh, now just note that this Z this ring is a PID PID principal ideal domain we, uh, that means that is every ideal in Z is principal so this statement is correct because i is any ideal of z so i is principal ideal because z is pid now i is prime ideal of z it is not necessarily true because let us take i second option take i as the ideal generated by say 4 then this is not prime ideal in Z because this 4 is not a prime in Z so 4 is not prime in Z because 4 is not a prime in Z it is not a prime ideal or uh, by definition you just take the product so 2 into 2 is just 4 now this 4 belongs to i but this 2 doesn't belongs to i and by the definition of prime ideal if a if a b belongs to ideal i then a belongs to i or b belongs to i but here 2 does not belongs to i because this ideal i is generated by 4 that is this ideal is just 4 sorry, 4 8 12 and so on right the multiples of 4 uh, okay, and also 0 so this 2 is not in i hence this is not a prime ideal hence this second option is also false is false now the third option says that if i is prime ideal of z then i is maximal ideal in z uh, which is not true because uh, take 0 the ideal 0 so third option you take ideal i is equal to the 0 ideal that is generated by 0 then this is is prime ideal because if you take uh, the product of any two um, numbers or any two elements in zero ideal then it is zero so now this is a prime ideal and clearly it is not maximal in z so this ideal is this zero ideal is prime ideal but it is not maximal hence this third option is also wrong this is the counter example this i is equal to the zero ideal now the fourth option is if i is maximal ideal in z then i is a prime ideal of z so this is true if we have the integral domain then maximal ideal gives prime ideal so uh, maximal ideal is a prime ideal so this is true thank you